Welcome back to our five-part series on the Skydio 2. My name is Greg Snell, a professional videographer and drone pilot with UAV Coach. In this video, we're going to cover the advanced obstacle avoidance by testing it out in the field. Let's get started. Obstacle avoidance in the case of our Skydio 2 is the autonomous task of maneuvering around static objects. Now, as you probably already know, this drone happens to be really good at it, but how does the system actually work? After a little bit of digging around, we were able to find out some really interesting facts about how this system actually works. And we wanna share that with you right now in this video. First are the cameras, and as we mentioned briefly in the first video of this five-part series, the Skydio 2 has six super wide-angle 4K cameras that can collect an impressive amount of data while you're flying in real time. Three of these cameras are on the top of the drone and three on the bottom. The specific placement of these cameras is what allows the drone to create a complete 360 degree view of its surroundings. And one interesting result of this placement is that you also have the props in an over under design structure. And this allows them to not get in the way of the cameras so that the six cameras have a complete unobstructed view, allowing the drone to create those 3D maps of its environment. In fact, the Skydio 2 can see nearly every single point in its surrounding space, resulting in better than stereo depth perception, which we'll touch on more in a second. Overall, this physical design of the drone and how it's manufactured with your six super wide angle 4K cameras and the over under propeller structure is one of the main reasons that the drone has such great obstacle avoidance capabilities. But what happens when the drone is capturing and recording all of that information in real time as you fly? Next up is the data processing power. The Skydio 2 is constantly running its obstacle avoidance system. It's scanning its environment in real time, building 3D models, and if necessary, making automated decisions on where and how fast to fly. This takes a lot of energy and processing power. So in order to counteract all that information that the drone is recording, it uses a NVIDIA Tegra X2 chip to be able to collect and understand all the information from the six cameras. Now this is a very powerful processor and it is what helps the drone build those 3D models in real time. And if you can believe it, the processor has an update rate of more than 1 million points per second. Just think about that for a second. And while doing this, the Skydio 2 is still able to track subjects, perform the automated skills, which we went over in the last video, and record 4K60 from a separate camera, which again, is just kind of incredible. I gotta cut in on myself real quick from the field here on location, testing the obstacle avoidance because it's obvious that the Skydio 2 is processing its environment and sort of trying to understand what it's seeing and, uh, and that autonomous system is working in real time. So a great example of that is I just flew the drone directly into this wall of trees here behind me. And it really is like quite a vertical wall and I was holding full throttle, just going straight forward, and the drone wasn't really moving at all. It almost came to a complete halt, and you can see it was trying to find a way, but it just couldn't decide, you know, if there was enough space on any side. So I found, like, I was just kind of stuck in that position, and I needed to physically move the, thr the throttle a little bit to the left while still pushing forward, and the drone was able to then maneuver around this wall of trees and continue going forward. However, I found it really interesting that it didn't sort of do that automatically on its own so I think that when it's really in front of a wall in front of a very hard surface or it's uh, just too confused it'll sort of stall out even if you're still full throttle until you move the drone and then it finds its way and continues on its path the website also states, and this is a little bit repetitive information, but I wanted to share it with you here in this video because it helps drive home the point of why this obstacle avoidance system is so good and how it works. The Skydio 2 is the most advanced flying AI on the planet. The drone sees in every direction with six 4K cameras, utilizing 45 megapixels of visual data from six 200 degree color cameras. Skydio 2 can see in every direction with unprecedented resolution and clarity. This is the foundation of trustworthy autonomous flight, and we agree. Here's a video that gives you a great understanding of what is exactly being seen by each individual 200 degree 4K camera. The colors used in the second view indicate the distance from the drone to one or more objects, yellow being closest to the drone. 
All right, I'm jumping in on myself again here. We got the drone just down in time before these kids arrived at the playground. So that was a really cool test, being able to try and fly it through the playground obstacles. We've got like chains here and some metal posts and some rocks and like just a whole bunch of gaps in between that if I was flying manually with one of my DJI drones, especially one of the Mavic Minis, I could probably get through that stuff with like relative confidence. But with this drone, it doesn't allow you to. It's really uh, quite interesting to test the limitations of what it's sort of willing to fly through and, and not willing to fly through. So I tried flying through a couple of these swings and there's sort of like a, a big kind of concave swing and it just wasn't having any of it. Eventually it kind of got up and over the swing uh, without me having to do anything, which was cool, unlike the wall of trees uh, earlier in this video. But uh, I did notice that going through the rocks, it, it did allow me to fly through the gap in the rocks and then it was kind of confused in the middle of the rocks and then right at the very end, it sped up through that last gap knowing that it was free. And uh, that I also found really interesting. It's like the drone is constantly assessing what it's doing in its environment and as soon as it feels like it's got a safe path, boom, it's right through it, which, uh, which goes to our point about the footage being kind of unpredictable and unreliable. But uh, very cool to see it prioritizing that safety feature of it just insanely good obstacle avoidance. Uh, also, I'm flying with the controller. Uh, which is kind of cool. It's the first time that the controller's been here on the videos. It's actually sold separately from your base uh, starter kit, uh, base package, and it is essential for me when I'm doing these tests and getting any kind of like 4K cinematic footage because I personally, as a drone pilot, I have way more control over uh, the drone with the controller than I do trying to fiddle uh, through the app. Now, you can control the drone through the app, uh, but it's not very easy to say the least. It's definitely made to uh, be autonomously flying, so you just track a subject and off you go and it does its own thing you know it's nice to have the controller but really this drone shines when it comes to autonomous tracking and obstacle avoidance Getting back to the processor, the NVIDIA Tegra X2 chip is tightly integrated into the Skydio 2's magnesium frame the frame actually functions as a heat sink, conducting the heat away from the processors out underneath of the propellers, which acts as a very effective cooling system. We found a great quote by the Skydio CEO, Adam Bry, going into a bit more detail on the effectiveness of the obstacle avoidance system. When we look at a scene, we know what everything is and generally how the world is structured around us. The combination of that contextual information with photometric information means that people essentially have the perfect depth perception based just on vision. We've come up with a deep learning algorithm that mimics this, such that the drone not only sees photometric information, but also contextual information. This drastically improves performance in every scenario that we care about and overcomes a lot of the really tricky cases. Now, in my opinion, this deep learning algorithm is what sets the drone apart and makes it better than stereo. If it can understand more photometric and contextual information that it's seeing and process that information in real time, that's what allows it to understand its surroundings and make those decisions and avoid running into obstacles. Now, stereo, and I don't know this for a fact, but I would guess that a stereo system is what other uh, VPS or visual positioning systems of other drone manufacturers is made up of. So so having this more deep learning algorithm allows the Skydio 2 to be one step above its competitors, specifically when it comes to obstacle avoidance. But that's just my opinion. And I must say that even though Skydio's automated obstacle avoidance system does work extremely well, there are still a couple of downsides. It's not all that great. The drone can definitely get tricked up, especially by thin branches and thin wires. Also, the drone prioritizes its automated obstacle avoidance system over everything else. That means that if you're trying to track a subject or you're trying to do some of its automated skills, or if you're trying to manually fly the drone, you don't have as much power over where the drone goes simply because the system will override if it thinks that it's getting too close to something and it does not want to collide with that object. And as we mentioned in the previous video, that does make it a little bit difficult to try and predict where the drone is going to fly and how fast it's flying if you're autonomously tracking a subject, you know, that subject being yourself on a bike, for example. Now, what this results in is kind of like unreliable footage that can be hard to edit and integrate into any of your filming projects. The drone also won't take off in most indoor spaces, kind of like this one, and it needs ample light to be able to fly which means you can't really use it for any like pre-sunrise flights or even like post-sunset. So dawn and dusk is kind of out of the question when it comes to this drone. 
Now those are just a couple of the downsides of the obstacle avoidance system, but really overall, Skydio has done a very good job of creating a really superior autonomous obstacle avoidance system that helps create crash-proof flights. The website also speaks to different industries where Skydio drones are currently being used, specifically inspections, public safety, and defense work. Now I assume that these folks care less about shaky footage, but absolutely love the autonomy and the fact that these drones are nearly impossible to crash. On their landing page for public safety, Skydio talks about how the drone doesn't need GPS and can fly confidently indoors. Now I stated earlier that the Skydio 2 won't take off in most indoor spaces, especially if they're really dim lit. However, there are certain situations where Skydio drones would be very useful indoors. And that would be a big factory environment or a giant warehouse or something where there's a lot of space and ideally a lot of artificial light. The drone can easily navigate around big and small obstacles. And after only a few weeks of flying it, I can say that I trust it basically 100%, like 99.9% that it is not going to hit anything while autonomously tracking a subject like myself in the field. It's really something you got to experience for yourself. And even though it does create sometimes unpredictable and unreliable footage, the 4K60 is still pretty good. And there have definitely been a few clips that I've been able to integrate into these videos and possibly into my own client projects in the future. Overall though, it's the advanced obstacle avoidance and the autonomous subject tracking that make the Skydio 2's consumer-based model one step above its competition. The smart tech that's built into the Skydio 2 is ideal for solo content creators outdoor adventurers, people who are looking to capture themselves in the field, big wide open spaces, the autonomous subject tracking especially is really, really incredible. So I think for people who are looking for a drone that they can just throw up in the air and track them when they're doing whatever they're doing and trust it to not hit anything, then this is the go-to for that person. All right, we're getting into the late evening hours here on our test day for the obstacle avoidance and Skydio 2 has performed extremely well. I, uh, I was able to get it into a really tight sort of situation at maybe like about 25 feet up in the air in the tree canopy in these evergreens and it really got into like a pocket within the trees and I kind of thought it was going to crash. There was a second there where I was like, okay, I've gone, I've gone too far. You know, there was these, these thin branches right in front of the camera and I thought it was going to clip something and fall to the ground and it didn't. I uh, successfully navigated it back around and uh, it didn't touch anything or hit anything and then there was a little gap the way that I came in I went back out that way and you see it sort of speed up towards the uh, the opening and then towards that tower there at the end so that was pretty cool um, to really kind of push it into these scenarios that normally you know especially if you're not confident as a pilot you're probably gonna crash so uh, this thing autonomously did not allow that to happen because uh, my pilot skills really aren't that great I thought I was gonna crash but anyway here it is alive and well so that was very cool and uh, and another really good example of how good the autonomous system is uh, for object avoidance in this drone so final thoughts from me are that uh, it is very very good for uh, sort of outdoor enthusiasts people who are content creators looking to film themselves doing maybe activities like cycling or running uh, or even walking whatever it is you know if you want to film yourself while doing something else then this is a great drone for for that and you can have 100% confidence that it's not going to hit anything. On the other hand, it doesn't have a super uh, long like um, connection range with you as a as the uh, operator. So if you've just got it connected to your phone and phone only, the Wi-Fi signal really isn't that strong. So you have to be uh, cautious that you're staying very close to the drone. The controller it's a little bit better, and then the beacon, which is another uh, sold separately item, it's uh, much better. So it uh, depends on what you're doing with it, but I do think that it is a very good option for those looking to film themselves doing activities outdoors. Now for the more cinematography side, the drone does offer very good uh, camera quality at 4K60 and the colors look really nice and I'm genuinely impressed with the footage. I think it looks cool. You're seeing it here in this video. Uh, but with that said, it is still very unpredictable and unreliable and you'd have to fly it quite a lot to sort of know how it's going to react and move while avoiding obstacles in the field. So 
That made it a bit tougher, but still overall, I think it's uh, it's a pretty impressive product. And that is gonna do it for us here in the field testing the obstacle avoidance of the Skydio 2. Be sure to stay tuned for the next video where we will put this up against DJI models and test out how it compares to other drones, specifically from that manufacturer, which I think is gonna be a lot of fun. That's gonna be a cool video to make. So I hope you're looking forward to watching that one. Links in the description for all the other Skydio videos and other UAV Coach content. And from everybody here at the UAV Coach team, we're wishing you blue skies and safe flying.